All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we install these ring lights with the mount right here. And I'm in the shop right now. I have all the ring lights turned off because I wanted you to see what it looks like without the ring lights. So this is with all the lights off right now and it's in the middle of the day at 10 a.m. And then with, this is with just the lights above us, the pendant lights and then the sconce lights. So none of the ring lights are on right now. I wanted to show you what it looks like before we turn them on. Now I'm gonna turn them on so you can see the difference. Okay, so I just have, full, have all four of the ring lights on right now. So as you can see, it makes a huge difference. We also have the lights above the mirrors that are helping as well. Uh, the ring lights are one of the best investments I think I've ever made into the shop. So I'm gonna sh we're actually gonna be putting a ring light on this station today. Uh, we're adding a fifth one here. All right, so I just thought before we get into the installation, you can see the there's no lights on right now besides the wall sconces. I wanted to show you what it looks like from the barber's point of view with no ring light at this station. So as you can see, it's kind of dark. There's a lot of shadows and we have the ring lights on at the other stations, some of them. And as you can see, if you were sitting or st working at this station, it would be really dark. So I want to show you the kind of the importance of lighting in the barbershop and why we invest so much into getting the lighting right. So I want to show you the difference that just this light bar above the mirror makes. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. All right, so now the light bar is on and as you can see, there's a pretty big difference in the lighting already. And that ring light's going to make an even bigger difference once we get that up. So I just want to show you a little bit of a visual using one of our mannequins here. How just with one light above the mirror can make a big difference. And now we're gonna add the second ring light so that way the barbers can kind of position and move them, move the light exactly where they need it. All right, so these are the boxes that the ring light and the mount came in. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up to show you what it looks like. All right, so it looks like it comes in three pieces. There's the ring light, the stand, which comes with the light. It's like a tripod, which we're not gonna use this. And then this should be the power cables and the light covers. So these are the covers that go on the lights. It comes with these white ones and then the orange ones. It also comes with this remote and a phone stand, phone holder, the adapter cables, and kind of a pivot thing for mounting to the ring light. And finally, we have the ring light itself. This is the 18 inch newer, newer ring light. And uh, this is basically it. I'm gonna keep these covers off for now just because they can fall off as you're kind of working with the light, getting it mounted. Uh, but we're definitely gonna put these on once the light is mounted. So let's get into mounting it. So this is everything that comes in the box with the wall mount. It's the wall mount itself, which there's, there's two types of wall mounts. Um, this is the, the shorter one. They have another one I think that can extend further out. It comes with these instructions here, which aren't that helpful. And then it comes with these bolts, which uh, probably not gonna use these today. But this is the wall mount and the ring light. And now let's get it on the wall. All right, so I just wanted to show you what I have going on so far. I have the holes marked out and I took the measurements from one of the other ring lights that we have. And these are the measurements that I have. The, well, the counter from the bottom, sorry, is 35 and a half from the, the floor to here. And then from the, the counter to the bottom of where the ring light's gonna be is 39 and a half inches. So it gives us a total of 75 inches from the floor to the the bottom of the ring light mount. And then I measured about seven inches from the mirror since that's where the other ones are. As you can see, they're all almost the same, exact same distance from the mirror. So since we want them to all, all look the same, we're gonna make sure that. And I'm gonna be using these mount, these, these anchors. Uh, these are flip toggles. So this is gonna go into the wall like that. And then you push this down and then you screw this in, and the idea is gonna, it's gonna meet the middle end here, and it's gonna be a really, really strong connection. So I'm gonna feel bad for whoever has to take this out, but uh, 
these are what we're gonna use instead of the bolts that came with it to get it mounted. So, and by the way, I used this as kind of a template to make this. So once I had my lines marked, I just kind of, I moved the arm of this up since it comes laying down in the box. And I just kind of held it up like this, made the marks with using a level to make sure it was level. And then that's how I got these holes up there. So now we're gonna get them drilled and get this thing mounted. So I, I wanted to show you real quick how I use these flip toggles. To be honest, this is the first time I've used this and uh, it looks pretty simple. It's a half inch. I had to use a half inch drill bit in order to make the hole big enough for this thing. Uh, so what you do is you hold it like this, pull this towards you, the one with the plastic end, and then you're gonna insert it like this and push it in there until this is all the way in the wall. And I might need to make this hole bigger. There it goes. All right, I don't know if you can see that. So push it in there all the way, and then it should automatically open on the other side, and then pull it towards you. Now, not too hard. And then once you got it pulled towards you, this end right here, it starts to slide kind of like a zip tie. It's gonna be hard to do it one hand. You can hear that, it's moving towards the wall. And once you can't get it in anymore, then this whole part just snaps right off like that, and then the screw goes there. Pretty cool, huh? By the way, these flip toggles, uh, they are, it's like a quarter inch by two by, by a half inch. Hopefully that makes sense to you. And uh, this is the brand that I'm using. It's the first time I'm using it, so we'll see how it goes. All right, here's the important part. Let's see if these anchors will actually hold, which this actually, isn't that heavy, but you know, when the barbers are manipulating this, that's where you really want this thing to be secure to the wall. So I wouldn't use nails. I would use the strongest anchors or lag bolts that you could possibly find. So let's see if we can mount it to the wall and if it feels secure. If it doesn't, then we might be in trouble. All right, I finally got the ring light mount mounted to the wall. These uh, screws definitely gave me a problem and I only had four and I ended up breaking one. So that's why that one looks a little bit different. So tip for you guys, if you're doing this, one, it's a lot easier with a second person. I'm doing this by myself. And then also make sure you have spare bolts. Uh, luckily I had some extra ones here, but definitely make sure that you have more than just four when you start to do this on your own. So now we're gonna get the ring light mounted and plugged up and see how it looks. All right guys, as you can see, I have the ring light mounted now. I've got the covers on, we're using the white cover. So you can move it side to side like this without loosening anything. See? So if the barber needs to move it out of the way, you just push it. So to raise it up and down, you need to loosen this and it'll actually lower that. And this can control the, the tilt. So it can turn this way, it can turn that way, or that can control how far in and out from the wall you want it to go. So like I said, the, uh, this is the shorter one of the two that are available. Uh, I got the, uh, there's a longer one that extends. So if you need a further extension, and then these control the tilt, the barbers can adjust the tilt they can twist it. You'd have to loosen something here to do that though. But it's really customizable and it ensures that we can always have the best lighting at each station, but it's mainly for doing haircuts. So as you can see with all the lights on, plus the lights around, around us, this light is making a huge difference now, which should help us get some better haircuts. So hopefully you found that helpful.